Do you guys remember Gilded Serpent online magazine when they used to do what's in your dance bag? I actually was a part of that back in the superstar days. So that's what I want to talk about today, how to pack your dance bag, particularly a belly dance bag. So let's check it out. This is my, this is my Jelena bag, Jelena's costumes. So um, here we go. So my last tour I was with, uh, we did Jungle Book. So I have a little, you know, my rehearsal schedule and Luna made this for me. I just love this little book. It's got my rehearsal schedule. It's got all my contacts, everything I need to know. Um, it's got day one of rehearsals, formations, like down to the detail. So you guys know I'm all about time management. So recommend that if you're doing a group rehearsal, get that going and have that in your bag. This one's probably a little heavier than I might choose. So find something lightweight because you know they're always weighing the luggage. Um, the other thing is this is my all around bag that goes everywhere. So this is my must have. And in my must have is I've got my cover up. I've got a Galabia. So that's ready to go. It lives in the bag. I've got my, oh, my favorite product. I gotta tell you about this. This is, and I learned about this from Fatim. Thank you, Fatim. Airbrush Legs by Sally Hansen. And it's amazing body makeup that doesn't rub off on your costumes. You put it on, you let it dry, and it stays. And it looks really nice. It kind of smooths things out if you got a bruise or bumps or anything going on. It kind of gives you a nice smooth look. So Sally Hansen, nice legs. So that goes in. Um, sometimes I put it in a travel size as well. Um, so depending on, my luggage situation, got a little perfume for the stage, one of my favorites. Of course, I've got extra eyelashes because sometimes you forget them or they break or have you ever been putting on an eyelash and you loot and you go to put the second one on and it's gone and you're like, God, it's stuck to your shoe and you find it two days later. So always have an extra pair, lots of lashes, good to go. Um, oh, this is fun. This is from the Jungle Book. We were doing some kind of like a sticker glitter stick um rhinestone stickers uh what else have i got i've got some hairspray in here um this is really important i recommend it look how small that is look how light it is and you just screw it it is a let me just see what the covers here a red light and what is this for this is for the stage so when i go to a festival and I'm gonna be doing my tanura or spinning or anything and it's a theater stage, I put this at the very end of the stage so I can find the center and I can find the end of the stage and not land in the front row off the stage. So it's a really good tip. It's kind of like a ballet tip that they use. So I use these light ones. Have like one or two because they, um, you will forget them. See, I have two. I followed my own rules. <laughs> um, and you will forget them. So they're cheap, you can buy them, you can give them away at the end. Sewing kit, pre-threaded needles, a must have. Do it. You know that's a rule with, uh, with Billy Dance Evolution and Sahlala. Of course, my dance panties, I won't show you those. <laughs> but you know, have you ever been on a gig and you're like, where are my nude color underwear? That's not something you wanna borrow from a friend. Okay, this is my entire stage makeup bag. That's crazy. So what I do is I combine my day makeup with my stage makeup. So I got my day makeup, foundation, powder, blush, uh, you know, some mascara, little eyeliner, like the classics. Then this stuff is like the stagey stuff. So I've got glitters, I got my lip glitter, I got my eye glitter. So I've got like my shine stuff. What else do I have? Well, I got like more glitter. A pair of scissors for backstage, that's important tweezers, you might need to pull some glass out of your feet, hopefully not. Uh, so kind of like special colors for the stage, because that's not something I wear every day, like a super highlight thing. Um, bright red uh, paste, uh, scotch tape. Sometimes you need to tape up the set list, sometimes you need to tape your candles down. So I use this, I tape it to the end of the stage, because guess what, the dancers before me usually kick it right off the stage. Um, hair clips, scrunchies, extra like makeup foundation, like a tiny one. So if you notice, everything is travel size. This bag, I think it's from Mac and it's from my Billy Dunn Superstar days when we were sponsored by them. This is a really old bag, but it's a little bit sentimental for me. I kind of love it. It's got some stains and some sparkles on it, but all right, let's 
move on. So this is like my everything bag. Everything has to live in here. It's got to be inside my dance bag at all times. All right, moving on to costumes. Oh, let's, let's do jewelry. That's fine. So this is not, I don't usually travel with this much jewelry, but I'm kind of packing up uh, as we go. So I, I love to have like a little Tupperware box, usually something like this. And this will have like my bracelets and more bracelets, more jewelry, earrings, all this stuff. So having it in a Tupperware keeps it from getting smushed and needs something lightweight, okay? So I recommend that. Again, I usually have a travel one that's quite a bit smaller, but that's nice and glittery. Look how shiny that is, oh, I miss it. All right, so I've got your jewelry box. Shouldn't be that big. Um, I've got my big spinning skirt in here. I love these giant mega size Ziploc baggies here. Kind of heavy. But what I like about it is it's transparent and I can see where it is. Sometimes backstage is dark or I don't, I'm looking through all my costumes. So I like to have something really big like this. I'm gonna show you the technique later, but let me show you how this is rolled up because I've got horse hair as a, as a thick trim at the bottom. So I don't want it to get scrunched, so I do this sort of like weaving thing at the bottom. You see that? It's kind of cool, right? And that is gonna protect your costume. Take the time, pack it right, it'll last a lot longer. Now my favorite costume bags are these little organza guys. It's like a feather. It's so light, you get a little ribbon for drawstring and you can see through it. So when you have your costume in, you can see which costume you're using. You can color coordinate it. So if I have a pink costume, I'd use a pink bag. I've got an orange costume, I got an orange bag. So you can get really particular with it. I, I love to be all matchy-matchy with stuff. Uh, then you've got, if I've got another bag that's not transparent, I have the costume inside poking out a little bit because it helps me like when I'm digging through it, like I've got this little, I know it's my tiger thing. So this is a gift from Margarita. She gave me all these little awesome bags. This is, what is this, like treats on it? Okay. So now let me show you how I'm gonna wind up the horse hair here. So, because you want it to last a long time. So this is a really popular thing in the costumes to have this at the end. It looks so beautiful. It gives a lot of volume, but if you pack it in the, in the luggage like this, it gets, it gets kinks and it falls apart. So there's a whole rolling thing that I do. Okay, so you go to the end and then I start to roll it like, like a donut, kind of around. Okay, and then the, the fabric will get all twisted up a little bit, but that's okay. The fabric can come back to life. The horse hair does not. Do you guys call it horse hair too? That's the name we call it over here. Um, braiding. It's usually nice and thick. If it's the really skinny one, like this, it's you're not gonna be able to roll it that well. So make sure, usually this travels in a box. So that's something else I like to protect my costumes in. Get a little cardboard box, an old shoe box, and you roll that up. See how nice that is here? Okay, I love it. And, then it goes into the bag. I'll do it, I'll finish it up later. And then you can kind of just gently push it in the, into the bag here. It's nice and protected. Then I might want to, if I'm putting a lot of luggage in, again, I'm gonna fix the rest of it. But if I had a lot of costumes in this and it was smushing and cramming, and that's usually how I travel, I would get the, a little shoe box for this guy. And then that way my horse hair is protected, my rhinestones are protected, and you just, it's, it's a little bit of practice and you gotta like kind of get all the sizing and all of that and, and, and wait. So something else that I do when I'm making a costume is I, I choose the fabric uh, with intention that it can travel well. That's really important. So when you're choosing those things and you're creating costumes, so this one has this beautiful organza. It's got the horse, horse hair here. And then I've got some nice, got a little bit of chiffon or crepe. I think this is kind of crepe. It's a little bit heavier, but I wanted some textures. 
I just didn't use a lot of it. I used more organza and less of this. So I still got that 3D, I still got textures, but with intention, I designed it to be lightweight and to be travel friendly. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, what else is in this? This is so fun, my fishy costume. <laughs> and she's got some little light fish in here. So without having like big appliques, these are handmade and hand painted by the beautiful Emily. So you can see that by getting beautiful shiny fabric, a few rhinestones and a beautiful design, instead of having a lot of sequins um, and, and big giant heavy appliques, kind of shifting the designs a little bit. So this is super fun, super shiny. I got a 3D effect and it's not that heavy. So that's really important. Um, again, I'll pack this up a little better later when you guys aren't watching. Um, oh, you can see this, my crown. This is fun. So you can see how the fish are swimming over my head <laughs> here. So again, just adding 3D by adding a little bit of padding inside, a little bit of cotton. So you can take some out of your bra, stick it in your crown and you're ready to go. It's kind of fun. Um, and some just using good quality stones is gonna go a long way. So I like to put some good quality stones around, get some nice bling. Uh, get a nice 3D look over here. And yeah, that's what's in my dance bag. I hope you enjoy that. I would love to see what's in your dance bag. So send me some of your, um, some of your photos or videos and I'd love to see that. So hope you enjoy that.